Good day. Good news Friday. I want to tell you about a specific part of Stockholm that I really don't like. It's called Södern Malm. I was there today doing some work and every time I go there I feel sort of awkward. It's sort of posh. You know, the atmosphere sort of makes you sick. A lot of lefties living there. And um, I thought to myself, as, as I was there today, I thought, you know, I'm leaving this place. I was so happy about this. Yeah, I'm going to the country. There is a name for Stockholm that they use up north. It's hard to translate, but they, they call Stockholm Nancy Swamp. That's a good name. And I think they consider this particular area of Stockholm, Söder Malm, Nancy Swamp. Yeah. A lot of lefties, feminists. Yeah. All right, Trump. I heard that his uh, approval rating is going up and that he's uh, uh, approaching 50%. I don't know how true this is. But he's doing very well, and I'm, I wouldn't be surprised. And, uh, you know, Swedish media, they don't talk about Trump as much as they used to. They used to talk about him every day. And now they don't. I wonder why. Maybe it is because he's doing so well. Who knows? Brazil. Brazil's future administration. You know, they get a new government on January 1st. And this new guy, Bolsonaro, I like this guy. They, this new government, announced that it will withdraw from the United Nations Migration Pact once they get in office. Now, the present ruler of Brazil, he's, I think he's there right now in Marrakesh. Maybe he came home. All proud of him, proud of himself. He signed this deal, of course. And he was a very good guy, wasn't he? So now he knows that he could have stayed home because the Bolsonaro government will withdraw from the pact. It's beautiful. Yeah. And I found out this. I didn't know this. There are two more countries in South America who will not sign this deal, and that is Chile and the Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic. Okay. So I suppose they too want to decide for themselves on who is coming into their country. Yeah, bloody racists, right? So there it is. Bolsonaro also announced his plans to move the country's embassy to Jerusalem, as did Trump. <laughs> I think maybe they are good friends, Trump and Bolsonaro. He also expressed his will to pull out of the 2015 Paris Climate Agreement. <laughs> yeah. This makes me happy. Now about the Yellow Vest movement. It's a movement now. We see Yellow Vests in Stockholm. There's another protest this Sunday in Stockholm. It's very good. Third weekend in a row. And uh, this is what I heard. It's growing. And we see Yellow Vests in Brussels and the Netherlands and the UK. And the UK guys, they don't like uh, what's happening with Brexit, of course. So that's the reason they go out. Uh, a lot of people, that's what I saw. It's brilliant. And now they do the French recipe. They block a road. They blocked something in London today because of uh, Brexit. Yeah. Great stuff. And Macron, more bad news for Macron. A group of French military generals have written an open letter to Emmanuel Macron, accusing the French president of committing treason. 
by signing the United Nations Migration Pact. Wow. And also, I saw this a few days ago, students in Paris are protesting because of higher school fees. Yeah. So where does it end for Macron? You know? Macron, will they ever stop bothering you? <laughs> no. Please, <laughs> leave me alone. Can't they just be quiet you know, and let him get on with this globalist dream? <laughs> it doesn't look good for Macron. And finally, I want to tell you this very interesting story. I think it is. There's this van, you see, commissioned by the Hungarian government. Uh, it's been driving through Brussels. <laughs> I love this story. So, there was this van driving through Brussels and there was a billboard on the van featuring pictures of two terrorist attacks on European soil which took place in 2016. The first one was at uh, Brussels airport. Yeah, you remember this. And the other one was the attack in the French city of Nice. Okay. And it, you know, the billboard also displayed a picture of Guy Verhofstadt. Very good choice. And it said, there was a text, right? And it said, hundreds have died in terrorist attacks since 2015. But Guy Verhofstadt says, we don't have a migration crisis. This is insane. Okay. So that's the billboard. Okay, so what happened? Well, the truck was stopped by the police in Brussels on December 5th and the driver was arrested. Yeah. And Brussels police confirmed that they did stop the van and that they did arrest the driver. But they would not reveal what charges were brought against the driver. And now the Hungarian officials are pissed off about this. I think this is a brilliant story, you know, because it sort of tells you where we are right now. You know. So that's what I wanted to tell you. I wish you a fantastic weekend. Bye.